Caleb Tejada has been on the scene for what seems like a decade, but the Grapevine senior running back is looking to have quite the encore season. Tejada rushed for 1,218 yards and 15 touchdowns last year and has accumulated almost 2,000 yards in his career. He's a small back at 5'7", but if he gets in the open field, it's trouble. Without an experienced quarterback this year, look for Tejada to carry the load for the Mustangs. Parker Polk is another offensive weapon for Grapevine. As a sophomore, he was the district newcomer of the year as he played a little receiver and a little running back. As a receiver, he caught 36 passes for almost 500 yards and four scores. Polk also scored a couple of times in the Wildcat. If that wasn't enough, Polk also made his mark in the special teams as well. Tejada and Polk will be the one-two punch that is hard to guard. At Carrollton Creekview, Sean Solace has developed into one of the area's best tight ends. For a Mustang team that did not throw that often, Solace was the go-to guy. He caught 34 passes for 600 yards and eight scores and was a solid blocker in the run game. Solace is getting D1 looks from Connecticut, Georgia Tech, and Liberty, among others. On the defensive side of the ball, there may not be a better athlete in the district than Philip Bradford at Southwest. Bradford is a beast of a defensive end at 6 foot 5 and 255 pounds. The junior gets off the edge quickly and is on the quarterback before he knows what hit him. He's nicknamed the Joker and that may be because it's a joke if you think you can contain him an entire game. 